Hello and welcome to another Smur P video and today we are looking at the vintage The Amazing Spider-Man and that probably came out completely wrong and I <laughs> I'm not going to recover from that one Right, stop digging, carry on So the packaging I think is the sell point on this figure That is very nice art and we've got some nice comic book action which I think is the main selling point for this Pizza slice. And on the back you've got a little kind of mini bio. And down here we've got the other classic figures. And for me the the best looking figures out of all of these. Um, that came with the Juggernaut Wave and it's just a repaint. So uh, you know I think there is some great figures in this line. Uh, the only reason I probably actually bought this is because I don't have the original anymore. Uh, <laughs> The one thing that I'm going immediately for is the lack of handage. You know, it's I think feature that's, of the whole thing. Why not give us the extra hands? I don't know what they were thinking. But hey how it is what it is. So let's get um, Pizza Spidey out. So he is basically the best Spider-Man. I noticed the, the paint I think looks different to what we got before. It seems a bit... I don't know fainter um, so I do feel like it is kind of a classic classic kind of feel to it which is pretty cool uh, not much to really say accessories about. which is this very greasy looking pizza and the half mask which is pretty cool so if you didn't get pizza spider originally you know this this isn't a bad way to get it I believe the original is pretty much twice the price now but there is a KO version which is probably cheaper than this but the paint job on this is really nice it does remind me of it so I just want to say thank you for watching like me on Facebook follow me on Twitter take care have a good day have a good evening embrace the geekiness